Hi everyone, it's Malaga again. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to share some exciting news with you guys. I am officially a Sigma affiliate. Yay! So if you guys are not familiar with Sigma Beauty or the company in general, they are mainly known for their makeup brushes. They make amazing bomb makeup brushes. And I think they're one of the first few like high-end makeup brush company that I purchased from and I remember back in the day when like Michelle Phan or Dulce Candy and all these other OG YouTubers like really love their brushes so that was back in the day probably like seven or eight years ago and I remember I wanted to one day working with Sigma and this is like a dream come true for me and yeah so I want to share with you guys what they sent me and then we'll talk a little bit more as to how you can apply for that program and what advice I can give you guys so they just sent me a box and I believe this came in like a week ago and I've been like dying to use this products that they sent me I mean I did use one or two of the brushes that they sent me already so so here's the cute box and it folds up goodies oh I want to share with you guys these old three brushes by the way these are the older brushes that I purchased from Sigma and they last forever this brush is at least four or five years old and they look brand new this one's dirty this one's clean this one's dirty too this one is a concealer f70 and then this one is the angle top kabuki f84 i love this to do contour and also like just to apply foundation and then this is a round top kabuki brush um f82 so these brushes i had for ages and they last forever so that is some great quality brushes right there but yeah let's get straight to what they sent me so they sent me a bunch of stuff to start with. So I forgot to mention earlier, these products right here that I'm about to show you guys are part of their welcome kit. So once you get approved through the Sigma um, affiliate program, they'll send you a box full of goodies for you to test out, you know, share with your followers and friends and family and stuff like that. So yeah, um, let's go with this. So they sent me four of their brand new brushes. So this one is the E55 and this is just an eye shading brush and I already used this a few times already, great eye shading brush or eyeshadow brush. So I love that, it's so nice and round. And then they also sent me a blending brush, this is a tapered blending brush E35, excited to try this. Although this one has a white tip on the top and it will get dirty very easily so I probably do have to clean this more often and then they also sent me the E06 wing eyeliner brush it's just a very fine tip very skinny eyeliner brush great to wing out the eyes so I'm excited to try that and this one right here is the brush that I've been dying to try this is the 3D HD Kabuki brush and it's um is there a number on this one? Maybe 3D HD is the number, I guess. Yeah, it is the 3D HD Kabuki brush. And it is, um, I've seen this um, floating around on YouTube a while now. And I wanted to pick this up, but I hold off on that because Sigma brushes can get a bit expensive if you buy a lot of them, but they are like made to last. But here's what it looks like. It has this cool shape. It's like a slanted from both sides and it's just awesome. And I can't wait to try this out. And I think this is probably great for just swipe on the foundation and apply that and blend that. We'll see how I'm going to use this, but I will share my thoughts with you guys on all these brush later on, probably do a review on these but this is the one brush that I was so excited for and then in here I also got this cute kit looks like and then and I got a few lippies in here so they sent me the lip eclipse I'm not exactly sure what is the lip eclipse but this is in the color she knows the rope and it's look like a corally red color if I can open it yeah it's like an orangey co coral color great color for the summer 
excited to try this. This is really, really bright, by the way. Maybe I should do a swatch on the back of my hand. Ooh. Look how bright it is. Beautiful color for the spring and summer. Can't wait to try this out and use it. It doesn't have any scent, so that is good for those who doesn't like any scented stuff. And then in there also, I got a liquid lipstick. This is in the color um, New Mod. And it looks like a nudie color. And I love the packaging of this, by the way, the outside packaging. Cute. Oh, this is like a pinkish nude or mauve nude color. Ooh. Almost look very similar to what I have on my lips. That's right there. So pretty. Love it. Yeah, this one doesn't have scent either. So this is a liquid lipstick. We'll see how it dried down and how long it stay in the back of my hand. Also, I got the Cynicity Lashes. Is that how you pronounce it? This is the Curling Mascara. And it's mine's in the color black. And I've never tried any um, mascara from Sigma before. So I am really excited to try this out. I hope this mascara is a waterproof or like a dry formula. Because that is the only formula that works with my lashes. Um, yeah. Let's see what the wand look like. Ooh. Ooh, it has a cool curved wand. Can you see? And it has very tiny bristle. This is interesting. Can't wait to try this out. So, awesome. Right. The next one in there, I got the Standout Gel Eyeliner. This is in the color Wicked. And it's just a black color. Honestly, I'm having a hard time opening these packages. It's like, they don't want to open or something. And I don't want to, I guess I have to rip it open. I guess. Alright, so this is just a regular gel eyeliner. It's in the color black. Looks very creamy in the bottle. And it's look very shiny. I hope it dry down to a matte though because I like my gel liner to be matte or like eyeliner. For my wing liner, I want it matte. I don't want it shiny or glossy or anything. So, we'll figure that out later on. And then they also sent me a palette. This is the Nightlife by Camilla, however you pronounce her last name, C-O-E-L-H-O. -E I don't want to say it because I know I will butcher it. So here's the palette itself. And it is a gorgeous palette. It has all this neutral up here and then we have some fun purplish color and then we have some dark color there is two silver shade i typically never gravitate toward anything silver just because my skin tone my complexion i like something more like a warmer side like gold and rose gold and stuff like that so i really rarely have anything silver or gray but I'm excited to try this out. And if you guys want to see me doing a look using this palette, let me know. I can do one for you guys, but they look amazing. Should I do a swatch? Um, let's see. I'll swatch this bright purple right here. Or like a lavender color. And then this purple right here. Ooh. Wow. These colors are pretty. They swatch beautiful too. I don't know if you can tell. It's very creamy, super pigmented. I'm very surprised. I've never tried any Sigma um, eyeshadow palette before, so that is something new for me. I've never tried their stuff before, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited too. Are you photobombing me? Mm -hmm. Why? What are you doing? I'm filming my stuff. Well, that was a little interruption in what? our... Thing. Um, anyway, so, oh, the, this is a cute card. Also, they sent me some of their sample 100% natural liquid brush clean, cleanser or cleaner. Yeah, cleanser. So, these just a little sample packet of these. And I've 
heard a lot of people like talk about this cleanser and they really like this for their brushes so I will try this out and keep you guys updated and see how I like this before I used to go to Sephora or Ulta and buy their like expensive or more a high-end brush cleanser because you know like the brushes that I have is more like a off an investment and I don't want to just use any like just old junky brush cleanser that will ruin my brush but then recently I've been just using the um, baby soap or baby shampoo to cleanse my brush and it works really well so I'm excited to try this and I don't know how much they are like in terms of prices for the full size products but I will try this out and let you guys know and the last thing that they sent me is a brush set this is the basic face kit professional brush set and let's open it up so there's supposed to be one two three four five five brushes in here so these are all the brushes so in here I have the large powder F30 brush and it's the silver um whatever this part called is the silver it's like almost look like my older brush so I guess they never really change the way that they make their brushes except this silver is a little bit like more dull because it's older brush and I guess in here there's their logo their new logo here they don't have any logo here so that's interesting yeah this brush right here I think it's about four or five years old it doesn't have a, any embossed logo on here but their new brushes they have that logo right there so this is a large powder brush Ooh, feels so nice and soft and then here is a stippling brush this is a dual fiber F50 to be quite honest I don't know how to use dual fiber so maybe I should do some research as to what I could use with this maybe to stipple like foundation and stuff but I never really you know try to use it or anything and I have quite a few of those I don't know why I keep buying it even though I don't know how to use it um, this is a large angle contour brush F40 and I do own this already too and I love it so nice and soft very soft I think it's even softer than this black one right here mm, they, I do believe that they are synthetic brushes though so the next one I have the Sigma F70 this is a concealer brush and again I have this brush already and it lasts forever but I think mine was like a smaller size like a travel size so it's a little bit shorter but it's the same brush and it's one of my favorite concealer brush so I'm happy that they sent me another one so if I'm not going to use this I might give this away so be on the lookout guys and then the last brush in this whole kit is the F60 foundation brush so this look like a great brush to apply the foundation on your face and then Obviously, you can't blend with this brush because it won't blend at all, I don't think. But you can, you know, apply the foundation on your face with this. So this is great. So yeah, thank you so much, Sigma, for sending me all of these goodies. All right, so now let's talk as to how you can apply for this affiliate program and what advice can I give you guys. All right, so I will have the links as to how you can apply for this affiliate program down below so you can check it out and see like get all the info that you need but essentially you just go to their website just fill out some information about yourself your business um, if you are an influencer say you're an influencer and one thing you do have to watch out is I believe they asking you what's your main website or your main source of like advertising as to where you planning on advertising all the products or planning on sharing your codes and stuff. Um, you either can put your YouTube channel if you have the most subscriber there or the most influence there or you can put your Instagram or blog whatever for me I have a lot more followers on Instagram so I put my Instagram versus YouTube because I don't have a lot of subscribers on YouTube um, I think I have like 10 times more on Instagram so that's what I put and that was my mistake when I first applied for it like the first two times that I applied for it um, and I got rejected was I used my YouTube channel and I think 
um, the number wasn't that good and I guess, I don't know, they say they don't care about the number, they care about the contents, but I think they are um, not being truthful at that part. I feel like numbers does play a role because obviously um, they're probably looking at your numbers. They want to, you know, approve those people who has more influence, I guess, and can sell more products in a way. Now, that being said, I will not push any products, any Sigma products to you guys. And if I truly, honestly like something, I'll share with you guys. But I will not just bluntly tell you guys to buy stuff even though they are shitty. So, just keep that in mind. I will not tell you guys to go out and buy crappy um, brush or crappy palette just because I can make commission on that. So yeah, um, that's just a side note. So where was I? Oh yeah, so um, put the link to the place that you have the most influence at, you know? So if that's your blog, go ahead and put your blog because you have a lot of views or a lot of like um, visitors on your blogs. If you have a lot of subscribers or a lot of viewers on your YouTube, do that. Or if you have a lot of followers on Instagram, do that. I think a lot of people have more followers on Instagram because it is easier to get followers on Instagram. Um, you just have to wait for your stuff to go viral. None of my stuff ever go vi viral anyway, but just keep that in mind. So yeah, essentially you're filling out all that information. They ask you how you want to promote the products. And that part, I think it's a little bit tricky and it's very confusing in my opinion, but there is a choice for you to choose as an influencer or social like marketer. I think influencer was the word that they use. So choose that if you are an influencer and unless you are a business, that's a different story. So just find the option or the answer that best fits your profile. So that is one thing I want you guys to keep a lookout on. And yeah, um, so some advice that I will give you guys in terms of applying this um, for this program is to be persistent. So. If you guys get rejected the first try, do it again. And I mean, they do want you to wait for like two or three months before apply again and you know, until you get your profile up to wherever they want you to be. Um, but don't quit. Just keep on doing it until you get approved because that's what I did. I got rejected twice and this was my third time applying and I even used a different email to apply for this, but I did something differently. Like I said earlier, instead of putting my YouTube account link, I I put my Instagram account and, and I feel like that's really helps them decide as to whether or not they think I'll be a good fit for the program. So yeah, in terms of contents, I do think that they are looking for someone who are um, focused more on beauty and makeup versus those who like really into fashion or lifestyle. So just make sure that your pro your profile looks like you are, your main focus is makeup or beauty. And that's really helps them decide whether or not they want to approve your application. And I kind of cheat when I apply for this because I do a lot of, um, you know, like fashion, lifestyle posts all the time. I. I want to keep like a good balance between makeup, skincare, you know, all this good stuff. But when I was applying for this program in general, I had strictly just post about makeup and skincare, anything beauty related, and I just kept all the fashion and lifestyle like backed up. Like I don't even post about them until I hear back from Sigma and that when I start posting about them again, if that makes it any sense. And I don't think that's go against anyone's rule, but you know, that just helped me increasing my chance on getting notice from Sigma and being part of this. Yeah, don't give up, be persistent, be consistent to the um, contents that you're posting and yeah, good luck to those who apply for this program and I hope you get in. And also, I forgot to mention, now that I'm part of this program, I will have my own personal code and that would be Simply Savon. So if you ever purchase anything from Sigma, just use my code and you'll get 10% off.
Sorry guys if this video going a little bit longer than I expected. I just want to give you guys enough information about this Sigma affiliate program. And if you guys have any question at all or any concern or if you want me to check out your profile to give you any like critiques or anything, just leave some comment down below. I can definitely check it out for you guys and answer any of your questions for you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video till the end and I shall see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.